Before I came into academia, I was a lawyer in private practice in Aberdeen, so I was a litigation lawyer working in the Aberdeen courts and beyond, dealing with criminal and civil cases. I thought it would be interesting to bring my practical experience into teaching, and I haven't looked back since. Every commercial organisation wants to try and expand its business, it wants to try and sell goods and services beyond the borders of the country in which the company is situated. And in order to do that, it needs to employ the services of specialist lawyers who will provide advice to those companies on the issues and the particularities around international trade and international commerce. Employers are increasingly now wanting more than just academic uh, knowledge or academic prowess, if you like. That's important, but they also want other things from graduates. They're looking for transferable skills, they're looking for graduates to be good at uh, written and oral communication, good at working in teams. So the demands are increasing and we have to meet those demands, and so that's why we have these professional skills courses. Well, as an LLM student, we'd have classes for each of your subjects on a weekly basis. These would be interactive classes where specialist tutors would take you through the material, they would engage with you, uh, they would expect you to analyse the material and discuss the, the law and the, the practice of the law in the particular area. So you learn really by having those discussions and debates both with your tutors and among classmates. And of course, there's a heavy uh, emphasis, particularly in arbitration skills, on uh, external uh, professionals coming in and doing skills work with the students. The individuals who teach or, or on particular courses are, are perhaps previous practitioners, not necessarily in the UK, but often abroad. Or they may be academics who have come into a particular subject area from their own degree studies. They are specialists in their own particular fields and can teach those particular subjects at that expert level. For professional skills, they don't do a dissertation, so they don't do a single final piece of work. What they do instead is a two-week intensive course, so they're taught how to take an arbitration case from the beginning to the end. They're expected to write some of the paperwork, so some of the pleadings. They're expected to role-play on some of the parts of the process, so they play it being an arbitrator or a lawyer for a party in an arbitration and ultimately they're expected to write an award or a judgment in a case. The programme is accredited by the Chartered Institute of Arbitrators, so uh, the students can get up to membership level of that organisation uh, by taking the examinations in the course. So that's an indication of the quality of the course. The Chartered Institute, being a global organisation, has uh, given a seal of approval. And so there's a definite concrete professional outcome for those who want to pursue a career in arbitration. On the Professional Arbitration Skills programme this year, there were 20 students from 12 nationalities. There's a huge cultural range there. There are people from all over Europe, from Africa, from the Far East, uh, who are mixing together in this class. And I think they've found that rewarding because people from different cultures, different parts of the world, of course, think differently and behave differently, and the law is certainly different, and the practice of the law is different. So uh, I think they've embraced that and done very well and uh, engaging with uh, others from other legal cultures. Our students are successful in gaining uh, high quality employment. Uh, they're going out and working in international law firms, they're working in international organisations and they're transacting globally. <laughs>